the short-term rental accommodation exclusion register. Now, last year, we talked about uh, the short-term rental accommodation code of conduct, and we talked about that in the in CPD classes. Now, and, you know, we, we looked at the code, we looked at how people are excluded. Well, now it's happening. So if you're a real estate agent and you're responsible for letting short-term rental accommodation properties, you can actually check the online short-term rental accommodation exclusion register. Now, you can also subscribe to updates from New South Wales Fair Trading to help you comply with your obligations. So that, that's a huge bonus. So it's always nice when somebody's helping you to comply. So that exclusion register, the short-term rental accommodation exclusion register, started in December 2020 as part of that mandatory code of conduct that we were talking about. And we talked about it many times on Facebook Live last year and also in obviously in CPD classes. So that's for that short-term accommodation industry. It's now publicly available as an online register. Obviously, it wasn't ready uh, or it wasn't online to start with because there was nobody on the exclusion register. Now it's been going for a while. And obviously, there, it, there's something to put on there. So now the exclusion register is there. It records the details of hosts who are not allowed to offer their premises for short-term rental accommodation and guests who are not allowed to book short-term rental accommodation. Now that's handy on both fronts. So a guest or a host in relation to, well, the host obviously in relation to a specific property will be recorded on the exclusion register if they have had two strikes recorded against them in a two-year period for a breach of the code. So New South Wales Fair Trading can also record a host or a guest on the exclusion register in certain situations, perhaps if they've been convicted of a criminal offence. So any participant listed on that exclusion register is banned from the industry for a period of five years. That's a big time. If people are relying on or they purchase property specifically to use for short-term rental accommodation and they've, you know, their behaviour has been such that uh, they've been put on the exclusion register, five years out, you know, that's a loss of income. So I guess it's there as an incentive or disincentive to behave badly or an incentive to behave you know, appropriate ways in line with the code of conduct. So the requirement for letting agents, so real estate agents who are actually working as letting agents. So 1st of August next week, uh, real estate agents providing letting agency services need to comply mm -hmm. under that code so as not to advertise or facilitate the offering of short-term rental accommodation premises if the host is listed on the exclusion register, either for all premises they offer or, or in relation to specific premises if that's what the exclusion register says. So they also they're not to offer short-term rental accommodation premises to guests who have been listed on the exclusion register. So really simple, guests, host, can't do it. So really simple, it needs to be checked. Now, to ensure that you as an agent are being compliant with this, you need to access the exclusion register to check for excluded hosts and guests. You now, you can access the exclusion register on the New South Wales Fair Training website, as per usual, it's there, uh, whether guests or hosts have been excluded and put on that register. You can search the exclusion register using information such as the person's name or a combination of the person's email address, their phone number or a residential address. Now, Fair Trading recognises that that's a fairly clunky and difficult sort of um, to frequently, you know, process to actually frequently check that information, given the high volume of short-term rental accommodation arrangements that, uh, you know, agents or letting agents and, and booking platforms are actually involved in. So to make it easier, Fair Trading has provided licensed letting agents, so licensed agents, with updates when changes are made to the exclusion register. But of course, you will need to subscribe to receive these updates. So to meet the requirements under the Code of Conduct, which, as I said, we've been talking about for a while now, uh, and you, so as not to enter into any any arrangement with someone who's on, to, who's on that register, so an excluded person, as they're referred to. So first thing you need to do is visit that subscriber portal on the Fair Trading website, create a login using your licence number. So easy, you've got a licence number, all good. Uh, and subscribe to the updates or the, on the changes to the exclusion register. You will then be notified when changes are made to the exclusion register. So once you've actually subscribed, you don't need to check the register every time you're doing a booking, every time you're doing, you know, use, you know, doing short-term rental accommodation. So before you accept any of those bookings, you don't need to actually do anything further unless you receive a notification from Fair Trading. So you're going to receive a notification when there's a change to the register. So if you receive a notification, 
that the register's changed, then you know you need to log into your portal, your subscriber portal, check the information on excluded participants, check that they're not one of, you know, particularly it's not one of your hosts, uh, that you're managing their property for them. If it is, then you do not offer their premises. You need to discuss with them. Obviously, if they're on the register and bookings have already been made, they are allowed to stay. However, no new bookings can be made for those premises. And obviously, you can't uh, make arrangements for somebody who is uh, who is a get, who is registered on the exclusion register as a guest. So they can't book any of those. So if you're not subscribed to receive the notifications, you'll need to check the exclusion register before each and every booking. Now, obviously, you don't want to be doing that. So just real simple, subscribe. So um, that makes a whole lot of sense. So it's time saving. It's time efficient. It's you know effective in terms of how you manage that that part of your business if you're offering or managing, you know, as you know, the majority of agents who do it, yeah, we do holiday lets, that's it, short term rental accommodation. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's much better to naturally subscribe and receive the notifications. Now, New South Wales Fair Trading have made it known that they will be monitoring host booking, hosts, booking platforms, agents, facilitator compliance with all of the new requirements as of the 1st of August, so as of next week, 2022. So guys, there's a little bit more information if you're doing short-term rental accommodation. It's also interesting, you know, when if you're not actually um, part of the short-term rental accommodation from a management or an agency side, when you're actually booking it yourself, it, it's worth knowing that you're not staying at a place that is on the register. So you can go on and check it. So good information all around. Mm-hmm.